Hey guys, it's Dustin here from Canadian Echo, and today I'm going to show you how to lubricate your gun. Things you're going to need is a cleaning and jamming rod. That This usually comes with your gun if you buy them brand new. And you can also find these at gun stores, your local gun stores. Uh, you're also going to need a uh, swab. Make sure they're lintless and they're small enough, small enough to fit down your barrel, because sometimes they're too big and won't fit. Um, personally, I use gun wipes. They're lint-free, very soft, and they're very easy to cut up. <coughs> These are cut from larger strips. And you're also going to need some 100% silicon oil. Uh, first thing I like to do, usually, is I assume where the exposed top of bucking is in the barrel, and I just squeeze down the side like this. And I guess it's around there. So then I put a piece of tape right there just to represent how far I go because you don't want to go too deep otherwise you can rip or damage your hop-up bucking and you'll mess up the accuracy and air seal of your gun. So first thing you're going to do here is feed your swab into the hole of your cleaning and unjamming un rod. Okay, try to do that. Try Okay, like so, and then twist it around. Now it's all twisted around. You can take your silicon oil and don't drench the uh, swab, just lightly coat it in some oil. You might want to uh, use a paper towel or something underneath of what you're spraying because you might you want to coat. You might get a little mess of oil all over the table and just feed it down the barrel like so and as you feed it down make sure you twist twist and push at the same time and you really want to do this if you get a brand new gun straight out of the box you really want to do this because 99 percent of the time the guns will be the uh, barrels of the guns will be very dirty for the factory so if you get a new barrel, buy a new barrel, or buy a new gun, you should really clean out the barrel. This goes for gas blowbacks also. And pistols, usually they're very dry when they come out. And when you pull it out, make sure you do the same twisting motion as you pull. You can see the dirt, we'll just bring it close up. Uh, the light won't really let you see the dirt. Uh, just a bit, but still, it's pretty dirty in there. I haven't cleaned this in a while. Um, my general rule of thumb is to clean it after every game and before every game. I like to keep my barrels very clean. And um, some people like to clean them twice after every game or something like that. Just keep your barrel clean, otherwise it's going to affect the accuracy and you might get BB jams also. So after you do that, take another dry swab, a dry clean one, and repeat the process without oil. This is just to remove any uh, extra oil that's extra oil residue that's still in the barrel because you don't want it soaked in the barrel. twist and push just like what you were doing when you were looping it let's see my uh, tape it just goes to the end of my flash hydrant like that that tells me that I'm deep enough so I just pull out you don't want to go any further, you might damage your hopper bucket. And if you push it in super deep and with a lot of force, you can actually shove this thing into your air nozzle, which can also damage your air nozzle. There's still a bit of dirt. So I'll just take another swab. 
and just keep repeating the process until there isn't any dirt left. And I'll cut myself in. Actually, I'll do this later. But um, after you finish cleaning your barrel, after it's all clean, what you want to do is actually that's pretty much all you need to do. Uh, some people who have mid cap magazines, this is a high cap. I don't have a mid cap right now. Uh, some people who do have mid caps and low cap magazines, though, they'll usually they'll do a little squirt of oil into the uh, magazine well, just to help help with feeding, so there won't be any feeding problems with your magazine. And that's pretty much it on lubricating your gun. Um, it's a very simple process and it's a very important process to keep your gun well maintained and firing well all the time. That's pretty much it for today. I'm Dustin, maybe an Echo.